looking at the data world, um, we're going to be seeing that we have these starting off here. It looks like the engine sort of flatlining. If you look at the engine RPM, it's around 7,000. This is going to represent the two-step rev limiter. And when we see the spikiness going on here up and down, let me, uh, let's pan in here a little bit tighter, zoom in so it makes a little bit more sense. Looking at this, we can see that the ignition timing here is dropping in and out. You can see it's showing these spikes. That's because it's cutting the spark and the fuel. If you look at our injector millisecond, it goes to zero and it bounces in and out. Five milliseconds, zero milliseconds, five milliseconds, zero milliseconds. We can see it's changing and the ignition timing is going in and out. It's cutting the ignition timing, cutting the fuel to try to maintain a launch RPM. And that's why you see this sawtooth pattern here that we're going to be finding. Let's go ahead and zoom out here a little bit. So it's go back to the view, I'll actually go zoom full and then we'll just zoom in. It's probably gonna be easier that way. Okay, um, so that right there is representing our two steps. So if we actually jump into parameters and we jump into rev limits, we're gonna be seeing that our launch control here. I have my launch RPM here at 7,000. Um, I'm not interested in using my anti-lag here, so I have that at 12,000, I bypassed, I just have this uh, launch RPM 7,000. So even though we set it at seven, we go back in here, we can see it's bouncing between 7 and 72 and 6900. So it has this up and down effect um, that we have to experiment with to see how it's going to launch. Now the next most important thing that we have to pay attention to, if we look, this is going to signify the launch at the, at the uh, starting line of the quarter mile pass. So we can see it launches here at 7100, it drops down to 5500, and then it drives out. As we see here, it drives up into the first bit of the run in first gear, and this is gonna represent our 60 foot. And if we look here at the actual RPM, as it drops down and check marks up, we can see that it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty straight lined, I should say. If we compare it against something like third gear, if we look at the smoothness of the third gear RPM here, this shows that it has a little bit of waviness to it. That could be a little bit of wheel spin, although I wouldn't be concerned with it. This was cutting low 1.5 60 foots, which is a pretty good 60 foot for a front wheel drive car. So. Uh, looking at this, we're going to be seeing that I would probably not change a whole lot to the programming. Now, a couple things that I've done here. Um, we can find that at the launch here, you can see that it, bought, it comes down. I was purposely making it drive, drive down and then drive up into the power band. We want to have this check mark look in first gear. If we have our launch RPM too high, we're going to be finding is we're going to be whatever the RPM is going to be set at here for the two step and it's gonna immediately just start to drive right up into the RPM. And that could mean that it's going to just simply